Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Treadnoughts, where <clears throat> poor old Edward Chamberlain has made a bit of a boo-boo, and uh, he's been chucked out as First Sea Lord, uh, and he's been replaced by some chap named Frederick Cunningham. Very nice. Uh, yeah, well, Port Strike Gibraltar. Bang. Radar 3. Nice. Britain's losing more transports than me. Uh, cool. All of Britain's allies are abandoning them. Probably because of that revolution. Uh, how's the invasion here going? Should go through next month. So what happened? Oh, they're now democratic. I can't actually remember if that happened already. But, um, yeah, things going not great. Although, they've reset their unrest and naval prestige. Um, which is actually quite good for them. Uh, yes. Okie doke. What fights have we got this month? No... Definitely no. Uh, this one I'll try. These aren't... I mean, this is a porcupine. This is a very old ship. A Tricolore and a Trude. <laughs> but the Chateau Renault is a duguay Torin class, which is a little bit newer. Interesting. All right, let's get into it. Prominent uh, okay, new three being all completely different types of ship. Yeah, Chateau Renault is almost certainly going to be doing most of the fighting here. <laughs> new and old together. Gunboat. <laughs> Floating hotel. And an actually modern light cruiser. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I do apologise. I am full of some virulent <coughs> plague that my darling children have given me. <sighs> they have slightly bigger guns, so they will be able to engage at a slightly longer range. have a sonar set, right? Yep, sonar three. Oh, nice shot. Main belt pin. Also a bit of flooding. Oh, 
What is their talk range? Can I see it? Oh, we're outside their talk range. Perfect. Pretty long range for a cruiser duel. 15 kilometers. Ah, hit the conning tower. This will be one of the ones where I didn't uh, change the conning tower armor. Uh, so you can feel free to shout at me in the comments. There you go, that's what happens if you don't do that. Close in a little bit. Nice taking out the cruisers. Another uh, main belt pin. Because it's just their torpedoes that I'm worried about. More hits. Aramanche. Sorry, Andromanche. Couple more hits. getting on. I think they're sailing in the rough direction of the transports. You just can't see them at the moment. Don't have the advantage of the Chateau Renault's radar. Yeah, those things don't carry a lot of armour. Just taking the odd hit every now and then. There we go, transport spotted. Oh, stop it. Right, we're going to have to break it. AI is getting too many repeated flooding hits. And another one. AI oh, is very good at that. I have to content myself with the sinking of the transports, which the uh, Nyadi is currently attempting. Hilarious.
I think Chateau Renault has successfully disengaged. We'll check in on later in a minute. Not bad for an old girl. Okay, yeah, it's just murdering transports, but still. Handily done. And we'll end there. Annoying I couldn't get cruisers, but happy to sink a bunch of transports. Um, back to the map, and then I'm going to end the turn. Alright, next up we have the <laughs> Irresistible here. And we've got the Signet. Now, season crew against a regular crew. Normally I'd say no, but I'm prepared to give it a shot. We do have a couple of destroyers as well that could maybe sneak some torpedoes in. Oh, it's the... Uh, the principal Leston. You are a long way from home. You're on screen order? That's actually fine. Frama, you are actually quite an expensive DD. Uh, so I don't want to lose you, but this little chap, I'm so sorry, you are a little bit more disposable. They are coming in against me. Seen the destroyer. Still pretty far out. trying to stay oh wow main belt pin what a shot from 24 25 kilometers out destroyed a secondary gun not much in the way of flooding but that's a big chunk of uh, damage 
Oh, hit a rudder. It didn't stick, unfortunately. Maybe we can pull this off. Maybe we can uh, slow her down with a signet. Oh, rudder damage. Please tell me that's stuck. Nope. Keep hitting the steering gear, but they keep uh, fixing it. Take it in return, but it doesn't go through. Another hit. Hit, but it bounced. Mm, they're all going to miss. I might get a hit or two here. Nope. Mm, miss. <laughs> miss. Oh, not for them. Lucky buggers. Hit. Ah, oh. okay. I'll stop trying to call it the uh, principal. Less than is distracting them. Which is good for me. Close the distance enough to get that really high accuracy. You're just fishing for hits, fishing for hits, and then fishing for pens. Couple hits, but they ricochet. Irresistibles playing this quite cannily, I'd say. Similar accuracies. I feel like it at the moment, but I did get those early hits. Oh, the destroyer actually took a hit. I didn't even see that. Poor destroyer. Sorry, might just fall in back a bit. There we go. Bit of flooding. Get some damage that actually sticks, some flooding damage or component damage that sticks, slows them down. I come in quite angled, I'll help. Yeah, they're full on retreating from me. Ah! 
I think given that they're not wanting to fight, I'm gonna call it. Bye. Ah, oh, ricochets. And I have to agree to disagree here. Right, I'll see you on the post battle results screen. Or will I? Sometimes the AI gets in its head. But it wants to turn around when this happens. It's like, what do you mean? You want to run away from me? <laughs> That's not what I agreed to. I don't think they'll be able to catch me though, and they're not full on chasing me. The distance has already opened out to 35 kilometers. So yeah, I'll see you on the post battle results screen. There we go. Uh, technically a victory for us, um, but uh, basically a draw. Right, uh, back to the map. We have taken Gibraltar. Super. <laughs> right, you lot. Go, uh, go take Malta. Are your reinforcements ready? Yes. Oh, apart from the Charlemagne. Okay, well, I'll move all of you, and then I'll move the Charlemagne next month. Um, I should be able to immediately start that naval invasion. Okay, not yet. Right. Convoys, what have we got? <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> uh, sure, I'll try that. It's not the, it's not, it's not great fight for me, a heavy and a light against a heavy and was it two lights, three lights? But uh, I'll give it a go. Yeah, two light cruises. Oh, we're starting pretty close to each other. Ah, it's one of these. I don't even remember what the class name is, but. Uh, is this the one I only built, like, one or two of? Interesting. And a Venga. Finger opening up. And now the Jurien. Although, these are the light cruisers, right? For you to take on the light cruisers. First, both of you. They should be easier to put down. Worry about the heavy cruiser later.
Oh, big hits. Big, 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 big hits. Arch, just five torps. Move. Put it down, please. Thank you. Target the second night cruiser. Right, you are around. Increase back up to full speed. Oh, yes, lovely. 202 millimeter gun. Making a mess. Keep on your turn. close to that heavy cruiser. Got him. Right. He needs to come about. transports. What is Imperia's up to? Precisely. Yeah, she's coming back in. To say is uh, retargeting. torpedoes her way. You never know. Sometimes the long range uh, shots do just kind of they just kind of don't see them and blunder into them but usually not. The Julian is a very expensive ship. Uh, I haven't fixed that yet, although I will look at it. The uh, cruiser towers are too expensive, I know this. To say, you can get a bit more aggressive with them. speed advantage. This is the Disay, but still, they uh, take some hits or they get too close. Might be able to take him out. And the Jurien can take on the transports. Where did that come from? Melt. Oh, I shouldn't have reduced speed. Get past it. Oh, thank God. I thought the hitbox was going to screw me over. I think you had 12 kilometer torps. You've got different torpedoes. 20, 24 inch. Ele uh, standards. Cool. Oh, I don't like that. 
You don't have a lot of them. And that is unpleasant to discover that you have those. I do, of course, have my own torpedoes. Let's uh, replay, repay the favour. Another bit of flooding. Flooding hit. Good. Slow her down. Might need a drawing. How's the Jurien getting on? Oh, very well. Transports more or less murdered. We've run out of high explosives, so in the angle, the Imperius is very likely to escape. I'm just going to move this way. Just put some more rounds into it. That's probably the end of the battle. All the transports are sunk. I don't think they want to fight me anymore. Well, Imperius is going to be in uh, dry dock for a little bit. I'll see you on the post battle results screen. Okay, there we go. Two light cruisers sunk. Uh, they are not cheap either. Goodness, 310 million apiece. Actually, more expensive than the uh, heavy cruiser. Um, also, the situation on my side, but still. Um, happy then. Uh, back to the back. All right. I got a few more convoys. This one, uh, no, I don't really want to take a Falson up against a battleship. It's not really what they're designed to do. Uh, this one, I mean, this is a modern metal cruiser, and this is a democracy <laughs> and a Falson. So again, no. This one, though, we have one, two, three. Four. Four heavy cruisers, three lights, and a destroyer. We have a Triumph class, in fact, the Triumph, uh, and some relatively modern backup. So, this we'll have a go at. Oh, please, not a storm. No, why is it going to... Oh, every time. Is the likelihood of a storm is 1%. 1%. 1%. You should see, like, 1 in a campaign. wanting to see if I can take out some enemy heavy cruisers, to be honest. Can't see anything. Of anything much. And the gun flashes are cool.
they get the first hit, but it is blocked. Get a couple of forward deck hits. Not impressive. Following ships starting to open up. A lot of target switching going on. To be expected in a night battle. All very confusing. You're not sure who to fire at. But. Let's target the lead ship for now, okay? You do have escorts for a reason. Blocked. Unfortunate. Oh! Hit on the secondary tower. Lovely. Oh, some nice hits going in from the Guishin. On what is presumably a destroyer. Yep. Shen? Wait a minute. What? Torpedo? What? You're kidding me. Yeah, Gushen fired her torpedoes. I mean, they do have a 20 kilometer range in their own. That's. But still, that is. Uh... That's interesting. Oh, Triumph lands a shell there. That cruiser is kind of ruined. Obviously, it also means we're going to have to change up who we're shooting at. That ship is cycled to the back of the line. Where'd you all go? <laughs> Playing around with smoke. targets all the time now. Right, could you hit the Caledon, please? Not bad. 
partial pens. I'm surprised. I think I thought, I thought I'd be getting a full pen, to be honest. I'm getting over pens. Did cause some flooding, though. That's the main thing. One more salvo. Then we'll have to wait. The defiance. Oh, yeah. Very long. No, you're still firing on Caladon. Set to fire on defiance. Thank you. There, drop it out the line. Go to the craze fort. Oh, Guishen taking a hit. Eight. I'm going to have to pop smoke and withdraw. And of course it broke the division. Actually, land hits. Oh, this is like me playing Warhammer. Forty percent chance to hit. Hit with nothing. Yep. Damage there. Finally, now they've disappeared. Oh, I hate this. If I can't see anything, I can't close in. They have far too much in the way of torpedo. Locked. Oh, I must fit the deck armour. It just feels like Triumph is not... Yeah. Overall accuracy tells a bit of a different story. <laughs> Stop it. Go, but go back to the Caledon, would you?
very hard to tell distances in this gloom. Please get an actual hit. I think I'm getting partials on the deck on the uh, deck and overpins when I hit anywhere else. It feels like no, it's forward belt. Yes, can hose them down. They have fired their torpedo though. Right, finally got one. Jesus. They uh, only ever fire their torpedoes as they sink. Yeah, I knew there would be some torpedoes out from the heavies too. See if we can take out a couple more cruisers. Yeah, eight percent accuracy overall. The trio. There's a Blenheim over there. They're firing torps at me. More pile of no thank you. I cannot 
believe how hard it is to just put those ships down. Destroyers doing their best. They're out of torps. Right, finally got the defiance. And the craze four. Gibraltar over there. We also have over here the Blenheim. Blenheim is badly damaged enough. We should be able to putting in to her. Huh? Quite a lot of flooding. Got them. Right. Let's make the transports. Uh, but I will see you on the post battle results screen because I might not find them. Ah, uh, took a while to find them, but uh, I did find the transports and the uh, fifty millimeter guns on the Triumph. Just hose them down. Annoying I can sink the three heavy cruisers, but well, apart from the Blenheim. Um but just um too tricky to to get in. The light cruisers are actually more expensive, so it's fine with me. Back to the map. Right, this is the last convoy battle I've got. Again, this is the sort of thing that maybe but those uh those British battle cruisers are big, they're expensive, and they are quite new. So I'm going to pass on that one as well. Uh, let's check it on the army. 5%. 9, 28. Zero. That one just started. Zero. All right. Uh, anything going on over here? Cool. Well, uh, <laughs> the, killing all those transports has definitely put a dent in the British economy. Love to see it. Well, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ottoman Admiral Dreadnoughts and the Invasion of Malta.